Yixuan. My name is Emily Wu. Um, I am 29 years old and I'm Taiwanese American. And I was wondering what I should talk about just before Chao Long asked me to talk about it. And on our, on our bus ride here, I was talking to everyone about my personal life and my personal struggles dealing with my parents. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that I am finally mentally liberated. <laughs> Happier from it because for a long, long time I had a misunderstanding with my parents. I thought that if I didn't have the full time job with benefits, if I didn't have the, the if I didn't go to graduate school, if I didn't marry a Taiwanese man that was a doctor or a lawyer, <laughs> I thought she would not love me as much. And so for a long time I had this misunderstanding that if, if I didn't have these three things that she wouldn't think I was successful. I thought that I was living in shame because I didn't have these things. However, when I finally asked my mom, Mom, if I don't have these three things, will you still love me? And she said, I love you no matter what. And the reason why I talk about such personal things is because I feel like I was oppressed in a way. But I was oppressed by a, a long time misunderstanding with my parents. And I think... Sorry. <laughs> the... I believe that everyone feels oppressed by something. Whether it be governments, their superiors, their boss, their everyday struggles at work, your friendships, your family, anything. And what I think I want to do is I want to bring mental liberation to the people. For your own inner healing, your inner peace. Because without your inner peace, you're not going to be able to influence your children, your family, your neighborhood. It's important to walk your talk. And I feel that. What was I telling you, Charo? <laughs> I, the mental liberation that I finally received from understanding that my parents' values were different from mine and having that misunderstanding, I want to, I want the people of Taiwan to be liberated in their mind first. Because the power is in your hands. It is. When you because when you can have that inner peace, you don't have to be emotionally reacted by everything around you about if someone insults you. Because you don't have to take the insult. There's a quote out there that's called, no one can define me but me. So if you believe you're Taiwanese, you're Taiwanese. No one can tell you anything else, right? And so I always felt like I have to be this, this professional person who go, went to graduate school, who married a doctoral lawyer and you know, it's like, I can't be who you want me to be. I need to 
follow my heart, my passion. And I'm so happy that I found it. My passion in life is to become, an, my, I'm an aspiring motivational speaker, and I'd like to become the next Asian American Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> Be the change you want to see in the world, and that's what I'm doing. Those shit happens.